Hey students and parents, this is Mr. Anderson, one of the counselors here at Ridgeline High School. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the self-advising tools at the Community College of the Spokane. That's both for Spokane Community College and Spokane Falls Community College. Unfortunately, we've had some students that have uh, experienced frustration trying to get counseling appointments, uh, as well as getting accurate information uh, from counseling appointments uh, to end up getting an AA degree while you're going through Running Start. And so this video is just to help show you some additional tools that can go alongside those. Now, the self-advising tools at the Community Colleges of Spokane, they help you track your progress. So they don't tell you what to do, but they help you. They're an assistance for you. Um, along with the information that your counselor at Ridgeline High School uh, provides you, it can help you track your high school graduation requirements, but it can also help you track those uh, requirements for your AA degree if that matters to you. And remember, you don't need to end up getting an AA degree while in Running Start to transfer those to a university afterwards. You can still transfer whatever credits that you have, or even if you want to just stay an extra quarter or two at the community college afterwards to finish up your AA degree, that's totally fine as well. Uh, the tools are also there to help track your progress and also to look at what if you changed your mind and wanted to go to a different program at the college. Now, I do want to remind you before we really dig into this is how important it is to prioritize your high school graduation requirements. Remember that your high school counselors are the experts in your high school graduation requirements. So don't take advice solely from the college counselors on your high school graduation requirements. Make sure that you reach out to your high school counselor about that. Um, but always make sure you prioritize those high school graduation requirements because we want to see you walk across the stage with your high school diploma from Ridgeline High School. We've given you all your graduation requirements in a list that can help you each quarter go through and do that. On the right side of that page are the course equivalencies, as well as there's the document in the Google Classroom. It shows you what classes at the college can meet your high school graduation requirements. So just remember, this is your primary purpose while you're going through Running Start. Not the AA degree, but meeting your high school graduation requirements. And if you can earn an AA degree while you're going through Running Start, that's just a bonus. Now, there are two CTC link uh, tools that I'm going to cover today. The first one is the academic progress tile. This is where it's going to place all the courses that you've taken into a degree plan. It also is going to give you a place to make plans for your remaining courses. So let's look at that real quick. So when you log in on a computer, so that's a laptop, a Chromebook, uh, or a desktop computer, you're going to click on the academic progress tab. Uh, it's then going to take you to a place where you can change your program. You're going to want to change it to most students just pick an AADTA, which is an, a, an Associates of Arts direct transfer agreement so that it makes it easy to transfer to like Eastern or Central or WSU or UW. So you're going to click on change and choose the program. Once you choose the program, it's then going to list all the requirements for that program below it. It's then going to show you what classes that you have either selected or completed, so satisfied, to meet those requirements. It's a really nice tool that kind of lays out all those things. So in that screen, you can choose the AA in business or an AADTA, it's totally up to you. And then what you can do is from that list, you can click on a specific requirement, like for example on this one, the written communication skills. It's going to then list all the classes that you could take in that category to satisfy that requirement. Now, when you do satisfy it, you'll see that little green check mark and it shows it as satisfied. Otherwise, it'll show you the classes that you can choose. Um, also, what you can do from that screen is you can end up reviewing the course information uh, to see um, what kind of class that you could take. So there's that little arrow over on the right hand side. You click on that and then it takes you into um, a, a, a screen that gives all the information, how many units, so the credits that are required, what um, like category it's under. And then what you can do is you can add it to your planner from here. So adding it to your planner allows you to then go to your planner and it lists out all the classes that you are planning to take. And you'll notice there it actually has on the right hand side a little star and it says plan. So it lists out the classes that you've maybe taken and also the one that you're wanting to plan to take. So using that planner ends up being a really helpful tool to end up looking at your academic progress. When you're all done with planning out those courses or you're just kind of keeping track of the ones you've, you've um, 
completed, you can also generate a PDF each quarter to end up keeping a record of all of that. When you view the report as a PDF, it'll look similar to this, where it lists each of the categories in the degree. It lists all the requirements that you could possibly be able to choose from. And then it'll show anything that you have taken or in progress. Now, the other uh, CTC link tool that's available to you is called a what if report. This is kind of saying, what if you change to a specific program? either like an associates in business or associates of fine arts or something like that. It gives you ideas and it helps you for planning purposes only. Keep in mind, this is not necessarily exhaustive or perfect. Um, that's where you're gonna need to go to experts for the AA degree in order to get that those specific things. This is just is going to help you um, as you're trying to self-advise. So again, you're gonna click on the academic progress tile and then on the left hand side, you're going to say you're going to click on the view what if report. And then you're going to click on create new report. So this is where you're going to get a chance to customize the type of report that you're going to want to do. So what if you change to a specific thing? From that next screen, you're going to create a what if report. You'll need to include several specific informations that are indicated on that screen, but those are going to be like the institution, the career you're looking at, um, or the career category, the catalog year, academic program, area of study, or even the concentration. Now, not all the colleges uh, have a concentration area or what's called sub plan. So you can just leave that at NA and try that out first. And if it doesn't work, you'll need to select a concentration or a sub plan. So again, from that screen, you'll then hit submit request. And what you'll be able to do is inside that what if report, you'll be able to view the report as a PDF. It'll break down each of the categories and it'll say, what if you change to this program, the classes that you've taken, maybe like you started running start in just the AADTA and you're wanting to change to an associates in business. So you go into the what if report and you say view report as a PDF and you can look at how do the classes that you've already taken fit into that associates in business and maybe it doesn't fit in real well and so you want to look at a different program or maybe stay in an AADTA. Again, it just helps you to make some choices. Now, I just want to make sure to emphasize real quick that those two tools, the academic progress and the what if report are there to help you help guide and help self-advise from quarter to quarter. However, if you have specific questions that you're wanting to ask, make sure to reach out to the experts in the AADTA or um, your degree plan at the college. So for Spokane Falls Community College, you're gonna go to the counseling page and then the contact us. You're then gonna click on the concurrent enrollment programs and you'll find your counselor's name, email address, and phone number so that you can reach out to them to ask any specific questions that you've had. At SCC, you can go to the counseling page and the contact us. You can then click on running start to find contact information. Again, remember that to track high school graduation requirements, if the counselor at the college talks about that, make sure that you just check in with your high school counselor to make sure that that all sounds accurate because we are the experts in the high school graduation requirements. They're the experts in the college requirements. And so together, um, by working with both of us, you'll get an accurate picture. So that's just how to use those self-advising tools. Yes, it's a real brief overview and you'll kind of, kind of have to go into it and kind of play around with it to see how helpful it is for you. But hopefully it is helpful. Hopefully it will help you self-advise as you go through your AA degree. If you have any other questions, please make sure that you reach out for help.